lot of center console builders do a great job of making a fish boat, but far too few master the concept of a fish boat that is also great for the family. Seating is the most typical shortcoming. They're in short supply and what is available is rarely comfortable. Boston Whalers 230 Dauntless won an innovation award by being the exception to this rule. Here's our review. Doug, I think one of the best examples of versatility on the Dauntless is found here in the bow cockpit. Good observation. One of the characteristic of a Boston Whaler is how customizable it is. Underneath these cushions you have lockable rod storage. You have a very robust casting platform with non-skid. You've got a live well aerated. Rod holders. Seat goes down. Now you have seating for the backrests. Nice comfortable area up here. It's really nice. And you've also done an innovative thing with the backrest here to let passengers face forward. Yep, let me show you. Just pull up the backrest here. You've got great seating. Same thing goes on in the back of the boat. You still have the large casting area with the non-skid. You have rod holders with a flip of a lever. Back comes up and you've got comfortable seating and storage underneath. We touched upon this expansive casting deck up in the bow. Underneath those cushions, we've got tons of storage in this boat. In the center, we've got an insulated cooler. You can use it for ice or drinks or a good spot to store your fish. Drains overboard so you don't have melting ice coming down through the cockpit. All the compartments are also gasketed and guttered to keep water out. Port, we've got lockable rod storage. It's a great space to store your gear. Forward, we've got a dedicated anchor locker with a notch for the road. The only thing I'd probably change is this nice gel coated finish. I'd probably add some dry deck or something just to keep your anchor from beating up the gel coat. Now, no self-respecting fisherman would probably ever use the portable head on their boat, but it's nice to know it's there, especially if you've got kids like I do. I can imagine my daughters would appreciate this more than a five gallon bucket. If you do have to come in here, it's nice to know you've got decent headroom and a port for ventilation. The standard reversible pilot seat features a pull-out removable cooler. This boat is optioned with a 25-gallon aerated live well and raw water washdown. If I was to suggest one feature, it would be this well-made optional T-top. Clever feature is this opening panel for your rod tips. This transom boarding ladder shows nice attention to detail. You can access it from the water without having to open the hatch. The Dauntless Helm offers a secure yet comfortable feel. There's plenty of space on the dash for adding today's larger electronics. And digital throttle and shift offers precision control of the engine on the transom. With a Mercury Verado 250, I recorded a top speed of 48.2 miles per hour and a best cruise of 3.18 miles per gallon at 4,000 RPM, where we were running 28.3 miles per hour. Building a truly versatile center console is a tall order. But by giving the fishermen the features that they demand, and yet providing some comfortable seating and some unique options that will make their families feel comfortable on the boat, I think Boston Whaler has hit this one pretty close to the mark. But enough of that, I'm gonna go off and have some fun. <laughs>